quick update on the new system. It's only operational in a couple of weeks, and we're very behind with the growing season here, so there isn't a huge amount of growth. But here's a quick run through. Um, this is now grow bed one and fish tank one, and it has this. Um, approximately 20 koi of different sizes and they're feeding well and doing fantastic as you can see very friendly um, so basically flood and drain all of the grow beds that you'll see here are flood and drain hydroton approximately 200 250 liters of hydroton in each bed floods up um, and drains down very quickly great for aeration and the plants seem to love it again there isn't a lot of food, we're very behind in the season, there isn't a lot of food off the fish, the fish are still very small, so <coughs> there isn't a hell of a lot of feed for the plants. So SLO, so the, rather than the water just overflowing at the top of the hole out here to the next tank, it comes in at the bottom and feeds up and in. Grow bed 2, uh, fish tank 2, approximately 20 carp and they are of the mirror and ghost carp variety feeding extremely well they're very happy in there so the water when it floods into here from the bed and in from the other fish tank basically goes out this pipe out here and this side these two tanks and these two tanks are all plumbed and they meet in here in the middle. This is the radial flow filter. So the water comes in from these two into here and these two into here. They come in here, water comes out, the solid settle at the bottom. This is only a very quick overview of the system. I don't want to bore people that know exactly what's going on. If there's a particular area of the system that you want more information about or for me to go into detail, just message me and I'll go into as much detail as you want on it. Um, all the plumbing is underground <coughs> under this bridge. Grow bed three. Uh, fish tank three with the you can see them there. There's your siphon kicking in. You can see. Okay. And that's the sump tank. Uh, the media bed over the sump tank. Okay. And the uh, sump tank, the pump is down in there. And the water trickling in is the overflow from deep water cultures. These are all neglected, uh, just been concentrating on the fish tanks and getting everything working with them. We're not too worried about the amount of uh, nitrates that need to be soaked up. But we do need to get these planted with salads and get the place looking a bit nicer. Um, so that's basically, as you can see, everything's grown. We've got melons, strawberries, melons, squashes, peppers, uh, tomatoes. Good bit Just look this side. After the radial flow, before the water goes back into the uh, sump tank, to start its voyage all over again goes through this k1 media it's really a, allows us to feed more and it just it's a backup filtration if something goes wrong and there's a lot of nitrogen in there it processes it out for us but it's time to go underwater